Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So I've just filmed a video before this one um, talking about how you guys can go ahead and import some presets into Lightroom. Um, so for example if you downloaded our presets um, from our website they will come down into your email, you can take them onto your desktop and then I showed you in that video how you guys can go ahead and put those directly into Lightroom. Um, so here is it here, I put a little folder um, and you can create a folder and you can go ahead and apply those presets to your photos. So again uh, if you want to go ahead and get those presets that will be the first link down below in the description and there will probably be some cards coming along on the screen at some point directing you guys to the website. Um, but they're pretty cheap and they've got about six to eight presets in each pack. If you guys are interested in that go ahead check out the um, website. Okay, so today Today's video, um, which I might upload before the other one, and depending on which order I think is best to do it, and I think this one probably will be best to do first. Um, these two videos are kind of related, so after you've watched this one, go ahead and watch how to import the presets, because this video is going to be showing you guys how you can go ahead and create a preset, and then you can create your own presets and add them into this little presets folder here. This is a technique that you might want to use, for example, if you've got about four or five photos that you don't know whether one you want to upload onto Instagram, you just create a preset, apply it to all five of them, and then you choose your favorite one. Um, it's a technique I use quite a bit, so I'm just going to show you guys how you can go ahead and do this. So first off, of course, you're going to want to get your image into Lightroom, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this one here. It's not the best photo, but um, it should work for the purposes of this video. So what you're going to want to do is, of course, create your color grade. So um, I'm going to go ahead and try and do that now. I'm just going to go ahead and probably speed this process up and not really explain what I'm doing. If you guys do want to know how to go ahead and color grade a, a photo and you want an in-depth tutorial, um, I'll go ahead and create one of those. We've probably got a few up on the channel, especially how to edit like certain people. You can go ahead and check those out as well. But um, for today's video, it's kind of more focusing on how you can create it and add it into this preset pack here. So I'll speed this process up and then I'll come back to you when I'm done. Okay guys, so that was a very quick color grade, it's not the best looking color grade, I kind of tried to go for like that kind of um, teal and orange kind of grade, we've got a little bit of teal, uh, little bit of teal around here on the, like, the metal and the orange in the light. Um, it's not the best, doesn't work uh, perfectly well, but it's for the purposes of this video it's just a very rough quick color grade, um, I would usually spend a little bit more time perfecting it and making it look perfect, but for the benefit of this video it's not too bad, so if we do the before and we do the after, um, quite a simple color grade, but again it looks quite nice, um, I went ahead and I changed some settings, I put a little bit of fade on the shadows, adjusted the tone curve, got something I kind of light, um, again went for the kind of teals but bring it down to the left, the kind of oranges, and adjust the saturation, um, and then I put the highlights on kind of more of an orangey and then the shadows more of a blue, made it a little bit sharper, it's a little bit out of focus, um, and then again I came down to the bottom and just adjusted a little bit on the blue and red primary just to give it that more of a teal and orange kind of look. So that's a very quick rundown of what I decided to try ahead and go and do on this image. So now what I'm going to tell you guys on how to do is add this to your presets. So let's say you've done a, uh, a grade like this and you kind of like what it looks like and you want to apply it to a few more images. All you really have to do is come over to this presets panel and just click the plus. Again, this is a really simple technique, um, but it's so powerful. You can use it in pretty much every edit you do. So what you want to do now is name your preset. So I'm just going to name this orange teal. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is basically select everything that you want to add to this preset. So um, usually I just do um, check all, so we've got everything like the tone curve, clarity, sharpening, all of our basic panel over here, uh, white balance up here, um, and then all of this color that we've gone, saturation, vibrance, and all that. Um, any noise reduction and luminance you can keep, you can take those off if you don't like them. So lens corrections transform, for example, you might not want to keep that one on, you want to turn that off. Um, but again, usually you'll find just keeping them all on is the best bet because you can go ahead and adjust all these settings later on. So now what you all have to do is choose a folder you want to put it into. Um, you can create a new folder. So for example, if you want to create a folder, just call it something like um, My Presets. Create the folder and it's going to put a little folder down here. Click Create and then as you can see, it's put in orange and teal. 
Okay, so once you've imported your preset down here, you can basically go ahead and apply it to any of the photos um, that you've taken and you've got in your Lightroom library. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and do that because you guys probably know how, how to go ahead and do that. All you have to do is get the photo and then let's say for example we chose to do this photo. You'd come down to collect your presets and you'd just select orange and teal. And as you can see, it's going to go ahead and apply that filter all the way across the image. So again, a really powerful tool, really powerful technique. And if you guys want to find out how you can go ahead and import someone else's presets, or for example, our presets that you download and you want to work out how to get them into here, go ahead and watch the other video. I'll put the link to it down below in the description. There'll probably be a card at the end of the video directing you to that. These two are kind of linked. And this one's showing you guys how to go ahead and create a preset of your own. And the other one's showing you guys how to go ahead and import some presets. So I hope you guys have enjoyed these past two videos. Um, if you guys have got any more suggestions on little uh, tips and tricks you guys want to know about Lightroom or Photoshop or taking photos or anything, just leave a uh, question down below in the comments or a suggestion and we'll go ahead and create that video. So again, thanks for watching guys. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Live long and prosper.